Here's our next welding project. Probably been something we would have been doing at school um, if we hadn't have closed. But anyways, what they're wanting done is we, me and Clayton already took the floor out and they're wanting metal diamond plate, uh, diamond floor plate put in it. So I've got that ordered. Wanting a spare tire mounted up here in the front. Wanting D-rings put around the sides uh, to tie off to. Wanting this fender straightened up. And we're going to build a um, five-foot tailgate on the back of it. So, should be a pretty good little project. Got this floor plate. And I'm gonna get it cut. Forgot my measurement. It's gonna let y'all see my new saw here. Just a second. Seventy-six inches. Get it marked on both sides. Saw here the other day. I had one Chicago Electric, and um, it went kaplooey on me. And it was a different style than what this is. This here is a uh, Eastwood mini metal saw. It's called. Not had any experience with one. Um, saw it on Facebook advertised, came across as advertisement on Facebook, and I've been planning on getting me one of some kind. So when I saw it, I thought, well, kind of like the looks of it. That stuff, easy to handle, look like. So, we'll try her out. Eight on sale. Left hand threads, by the way. It's hard to cut this stuff freehand with a plasma cutter or anything, get it getting smooth. So, we'll try this. This year saw and see what she does. That thing is 
doing a mighty fine job, guys. Me. Mighty, mighty fine job. Yeah, boy. If that thing will hold up and last, that's gonna be nice. You got a little, I don't know how you last, you got a little tray here that catches a lot of your shavings. It don't catch them all, but it catches a lot. That thing does real good. Real good, little saw. Eastwood Mini Metal. Okay, here goes cut number two. That's 11 gauge. That's the eighth inch. Oh, this much. Let's It's not the most pleasant to handle by itself.
I gotta cut this piece both directions. Length and width on it. Got the other three welded in. I need to weld them a place or two underneath, but I'm can't hardly get under there. I'm gonna have to raise it up some on the front end to get up under there. But we'll get that piece ripped down. I got these D rings welded on the side. Order twelve of them off eBay. They sent four or sent eight of the twelve. And I've been trying to get in contact with that outfit and have had zero luck so far. But I'm hoping to get that straightened out right away. Well, been down here this morning to try and get things cut out for the tailgate. I've got my pins and pipe and stuff brackets made uh, ready to make the hinges for the tailgate. I got my two long side-to-side -side rails cut for the tailgate. I've got the ones that's going back. I've got four of those cut. Uh, so I'll be ready to put everything together here in a few minutes. I gotta go up to the house for a, a meeting for work and then come back down here and start putting all this stuff together. Hopefully get the tailgate done today. And if I had the D-rings that was supposed to be been shipped, I would have uh, pretty much been done ready to paint it. If not, I'm gonna have to try to find some D-rings somewhere here local and go get them, get them welded on too. But uh, we'll catch back with you here in a little bit. Got our hinges on, got the tailgate framed up and uh, squared, measured it corner to corner and made sure it's square. Got it all tacked to where it won't move. Haven't got it welded yet. Got the hinges all welded on solid. So we're making some progress.
Well, we got her done. I reckon. Painted everything. Just use flat black. If you see like light and dark transitions, that's where it's um, drying more in some places than others. The, the lighter places is just when it's dried. But um, I think it turned out decent. I'm not so much talking about the paint job, but the fabrication of the tailgate, putting the floor in, put these D-rings inside here on two inside the fender so you should have plenty of places to tie down go the d-rings all the way around it put a foot on the jack up here put a mount here for a spare tire we'll get it bolted down once the paint dries i think it turned out quite well Just want to thank y'all for watching and uh, if you will please like subscribe comment and um thanks for all the uh the new subscribers i've got recently and uh hopefully we'll get into the hay business here pretty soon and start getting some video of that but uh y'all have a good and we'll catch you on the next one